everybody and welcome to another episode of Fantastic Little Tales. In today's episode, we'll show you the history of the hamburger. There are four possible inventors of the hamburger, but this time we'll only be talking about one. And later, we'll have a new segment with Olivia called Cooking with Olivia. She'll be showing you how to make chia and oats. Enjoy the show and I hope you like the segment. This story begins in Athens, Texas. In the late 1800s, a man called Fletcher Davis opened a lunch counter in Athens. He served a burger of fried ground beef patties with mustard and onions between two slices of bread with a pickle on the side. The Athens community became so impressed with Fletcher's sandwich that they raised money to send him and his wife City to the 1904 World's Fair. He is now considered the inventor of the hamburger. After the fair, hamburgers took off and started to appear on menus in England and the US. Then in 1940, McDonald's was created, featuring a nine item menu built around hamburgers. Fast forward to the present, now America eats around 50 billion burgers per year, becoming a huge part of the American diet. Hello and welcome to a new segment called Cooking with Olivia. Today we're going to cook chaya oats. To, for this recipe you don't need to bake it or cook it and you can just make it to impress your mom or dad or maybe your grandma or grandpa. Chia means strength. Chia is an edible seed that comes from Mexico which is from the plant Salvia Hispanica. We need one half cup rolled oats. We need one half cup of milk of your choice, so we're using almond milk. You also need one fourth cup non-fat Greek yogurt or any yogurt of your choice. We also need one tablespoon of chia seeds. One tablespoon of any sweetener, it can be honey or maple syrup. I'm using maple syrup since I don't have honey. And we need one fourth, where is it? We need one fourth teaspoon vanilla extract, but in this case I can't find it. So first we're gonna mix all these ingredients. Now we're gonna mix with a rubber spatula. Then we're gonna add them to the containers. Then, we, then we'll chill it overnight and we'll, we can add any fruits we want on top. And that's how you make chia and oats. Tell me if you liked the recipe or if you prepared it and tell me some recipes you know down below. See you next time on Oli Cooking with Olivia. Yeah. <laughs>